And, and I am going to be collaborating with her. I'm speaking it into existence on many things to come. Now, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell us what your YouTube channel is. We just finished at the container store and I didn't walk you in because I forgot my tripod my handheld tripod and as you could tell by the footage in the store I didn't have it so I was holding it with my hand so sorry it looks horrible um, so I went in there to exchange an item that was $80 and some change um, because it wouldn't fit the, the um, under the counter under the sink shelving um it was eighty dollars and like 23 cents so as i'm in there looking i notice that the container store these two four things that i bought um when i was there last time i noticed that they had it as a combo and i'll show you what i'm talking about when um i get to the house um so I need to bring those four things back because I went ahead and bought those two things. And then I bought some more stuff. Again, the container store makes you forget that you need, it reminds you of stuff that you forgot you needed or never knew you needed. So that item was $80.23 that I exchanged and I ended up spending, having to spend an additional $26. But I'm going to get probably a little over $40 back when I bring those four items back to return because I think they were like $10 each. So anyway, I've got that. Um, and when I get ready to redo my bathroom undermount and my closet, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a completely separate video because y'all, it's gonna take a minute to get that done. Um, it's a lot. Um, I ordered some bins from Walmart to put my shoes in. I got the idea from um, Aaliyah Face on YouTube. She redid her closet. No, it wasn't Aaliyah Face. Her name is um, Kyra Unique or Om Unique or something like that. She redid her closet and um, she bought these little storage plastic bins that kind of are stackable to put in her closet. Well, the way my closet shelving is made, the way my closet is made, you guys will be able to see that. That wouldn't this, that particular setup wouldn't work for me. But um, when I did a Google and a Pinterest, it took me to these bins that you could get from Walmart for like a dollar. 
dollar and twelve cents or something like that. Where they're your normal your little plastic storage little bins, and you they have a lid and you could put your shoes in that. So I picked, I ordered twelve of those. Um, the only thing I don't like is it came with gray lids. I would have liked it to have clear lids. And so when we go to Walmart, um, go inside Walmart because I need to get some hangers. I just decided that I'm not going to spend that money on those like custom looking hangers from um, Amazon. Um, it would just be too expensive. I think like 10 hangers is like 20 bucks. And they're nice. They're pretty aesthetic, but with the amount of clothes and stuff I got to hang up, I'm not, I, I've been to spend five, six hundred dollars on hangers and that we just not doing that. So I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to try to just change it over to all black hangers. I think that'll look fine instead of having the multicolor hangers. Um, so I'm going to change them over. I'm going to pick up some black hangers. I'm telling y'all what we getting at Walmart so we don't forget. Y'all can remind me. We're getting the black hangers at Walmart. And um, I need to look at their those containers to see if they have any that just come with a clear lid or if they're all a color. If they are, I'll just have to live with it because it's the most economical way that I've figured out how to store my shoes and um, just kind of reorganize my closet. I'm also going to get... Um, I think some like wooden baskets to put at the top of my closet to kind of put some of my purses and stuff in just so it looks a little more neat and clean like right now I have them in their dust bags kind of stacked up on the shelf but I don't like the way that it looks it just looks messy so I'm going to try to see if I can find some of those little square plastic bin or wooden bins I think that, that would look better than just um, okay guys, I'll be back. I'm getting a phone call. Okay guys, so I'm just leaving the hair store. As you know, that hair, the hair store that I go to, um, I can't take you guys in with me. <clears throat> they don't allow recording in their store. So, um, I just left the hair store. Sorry, I don't know. I had to adjust the camera. Um, Got what we needed out of there. Although I'm forgetting, I think I feel like I forgot something that I was going to the hair store to get, <clears throat> but it's neither here nor there. So now we're going to Walmart. I'm going to go to the Walmart, the one that I don't really like going to, but I'm close to it. So I'm going to go there and um, see if they've got the bins and the hangers. I think that's what we said we were getting from Walmart. I'm also going to look and see if they have those wooden baskets that I was talking about before I got the phone call um, that I can just sit at the top. Um, so I'm going to see if they have that. And I, now I can't remember everything I told you we need to get from Walmart. The hangers, we're going to look for bins and see if they have any with the clear lid. And it seemed like it was something else, but... I don't know. I don't remember. So yeah, that's where we're going. We're going to go to this Walmart first to see if they have anything. Um, my sister was at Walmart yesterday and she had me cracking up because she was like, everybody was in Walmart and they didn't have anything that she was looking for. She was wanting to change her um, comforter set to something more spring. And so she went to Walmart to look for something. And she said that all of that stuff was gone. She was like, um, I'm the only person that haven't got their stimulus check yet. <laughs> so, anyway, um, hopefully what we're looking for, we'll be able to find. Hopefully nobody else is trying to redo their closet or organize their closet, rather. Um, so, yeah, I'll bring you back when we get to uh, Walmart.
I just kind of do vlogs about what I'm doing every day and um, talk about different topics that go on like in the news or on social media or whatever. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. Yeah, I have friends that make money off of it. I'm not there yet, but one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or thank you. What's your name? Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. Have a good day. Okay guys, I just met this beautiful young lady in Walmart. Her name is Jasmine and she has an organization. I'll let her tell you tell you what the name of her organization is. Hi you guys, my name is Jasmine and I have an organization called Build with Glamour. So women in power where I push, help, pull women into greatness, building one queen at a time. It's amazing, it's an amazing company. Follow me at Glam Dog Powerhouse. And let's link up, and I thank you. Okay guys, so I just met her in the store just now. She asked me a question, and we immediately connected. Yeah. We have, um, oh, let me turn you guys. So we immediately connected, and we have exchanged information, and I am going to be collaborating with her. I'm speaking it into existence on many things to come. And she wants to start a YouTube channel. So let's encourage her to start a YouTube channel that she can do this. She has a lot to offer to women and to the world. And we wanna be encouragers one to another. You guys always know I say, be an encourager and not a judger. So I'm excited about my trip to Walmart. I thought I was coming in here to get containers to organize my closet. And no, God had me come here so that I can meet this beautiful young lady. So I'm excited, Jasmine. I'm so excited. And I look forward to it. I do. I'm just. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about the collaboration. Yeah. Like, it's, it's up there and I love it. Like, oh. <laughs> Okay, guys, that was so so exciting and she she said I encouraged her but she has no idea how much she encouraged me so we'll talk even we'll talk more about it um, once we get out of Walmart so guys I'm in Walmart and I just met a new subscriber a new friend to our channel and I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell you whatever it is that she wants to tell you hello guys I'm Denaya and I saw her vlogging so I just stopped by and asked her YouTube and I'm gonna watch her videos right now now, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell us what your YouTube channel is. My YouTube channel name is Naya's Life. Zanaya's Life. Naya's Life. Naya, N-I-N-Y. How do you N -Y spell it? N-Y-I-A-H. Yes. I'm going to put it in your comments. Okay, it. perfect. Okay, guys, make sure you check her out. Have a nice day. Thanks for Bye. hanging out with us. <laughs> We're meeting all kinds of people.
people in Walmart today. How exciting. Okay guys, what a great trip to Walmart. Let me, um, oh, I thought somebody was waiting. Okay, so, so much to unpack from our visit to Walmart. Um, okay, so they don't need a parking space. The first thing that I wanna say is, how awesome is it that we met um, two new subscribers in Walmart um, on our trip in. Um, we met Jasmine and I think her name was Zanaya or Naya, oh, forgive me for messing up your name. Um, both were such sweet ladies. One was um, younger um, and the other one was an actual grown lady. The other one was a young lady, a grown lady in the making, I'll put it that way. Um, both asked me, well, Jasmine asked me about my, um, how we started talking is she asked me about my handheld tripod, <clears throat> excuse me, and where I got it from and, uh, because she does women empowerment and she needed it for when she does her recordings at home. And so, um, I pulled up the information on Amazon, showed it to her and we just started chit chatting and, um, discovered that. Um, she's wanting to do a YouTube channel and she does vision board parties virtually. Like she's a dynamic young lady. Like she's got a young woman. She's got a lot of things, um, positive things going on. And um, she said that I encouraged her, but little does she know she encouraged me. Um, and so we exchange information. So I want you guys to look out for some collaborations with her. Um, I love meeting women who are positive and who believe in uplifting and encouraging other women. That's something that we just don't get a lot of in the day and time that we live in. It's such a crabs in the barrel type of mentality. Um, sometimes people forget where they came from and they forget to reach back and help those who are trying to get to where that person is currently at. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just excited about that. And then um, Naya, I hope I'm saying her name right, 
she asked me, am I, are you a YouTuber? And um, I said, yo, and so she asked me what my channel name was. She wanted to subscribe and check out some of my videos. And um, she's also a YouTuber. And she's gonna put in the comments what her YouTube channel name is because I couldn't get her name right. So we want to definitely support her. Um, and we just met a lot of people today um, out and about. Um, so I'm just excited about our channel. We're, we're gonna slowly but surely get there. You know, you got, I told you guys over and over again that I want our channel to grow organically and that's exactly what God is doing for us. And so we're just gonna keep pushing right along. Um, as far as the items I got in Walmart, so I think that the containers that I bought online for my shoes, I think they gave me bigger containers than what I should have gotten is what I'm thinking happened because those containers are much bigger than the ones that I bought. That's why I went ahead and bought those because um, those I'll be able to put, I'll have more space for shoes. Whereas the other containers, they're so big, I might have to use those like in my garage when I get ready to organize my garage. Guys, I got so many projects that it's ridiculous. Um, I'm still looking for a bookshelf. And as a matter of fact, I might go ahead and stop in Hank's Furniture Store as we, because we have to pass that. I think we're gonna pass somewhere over here just to see if they've got a bookshelf that I'm looking for. I've seen some online, but I really want to see it in person, <clears throat> excuse me, because I'd hate to order it online from Amazon and it not be what I want. And then I got to wrestle with it to get it back, to, to send it back. So I'd rather buy it locally at a furniture store here in town and not, we're going to stop at Hank's, but if they don't have what I'm looking for, maybe one day we'll spend dedicated day to just going to a variety of different, um, <clears throat> furniture stores in town and surrounding towns to see if we can find exactly what we're looking for so that I can complete the look in my family room. Well, it won't really complete the look because I've got a, I'm going to do some painting in there and I'm going to um, move some pictures around. It, it's just some stuff I need to do, make it change the mantle up a little bit. Um, I've just got a lot of projects going on a lot and so um yeah we'll stop and see i might or i might just wait because it's already 2 30 and i've got to log on in about an hour or so for um the book club and i want to go back over some of the things that i've read to make some notes so i can be prepared to actually participate in the discussion and then i also need to eat because y'all know how we do on saturdays we don't eat and y'all I ain't had not a lick of water. I know, but I'm gonna get that in before I go to bed tonight. Even if that means I gotta be up all night going to the restroom, I get my water, my gallon, at least a gallon of water in. I've really been doing good lately. I've been doing over a gallon a day. So I'm probably not gonna stop at Hank's because I really do need to get home, eat, go over my notes and get ready and be prepared for, um, the book club discussion so um if this is your first time here welcome if not welcome back um i appreciate you hanging out with me um we talk about a variety of different things here on this channel um some controversial some not so some serious some not so but anyway we have fun over here and i ask that you click the like button by clicking the like button that lets youtube know that you're enjoying the content and it also encourages me and it also puts our channel in front of other YouTube watchers who enjoy similar content. I ask that you click the subscribe button. If you're not a part of the family, we would love to have you. Click the bell also so that you're notified when new content has been loaded to the channel. And lastly, I need you to share, 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 share. We're on a quest to get to 100 subscribers and I need you to help us get there. We have fun over here. So let other people know how much fun we have over here and what all we do over here on this channel. Now, before I get out of here, I do wanna leave you with this. Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody.